Well, hello there. The Ministry of Finance is proposing the return of withholding VAT. And I uh, have with me Edna Ruth Mubiru. Edna, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, you forgive me. Do we understand what withholding VAT is? Um, well, it's, it's quite new. Yeah. It's a new mode of uh, collecting VAT. But they're so saying it is a return. Yes, it, uh, it, they tried to do it in the 2018-2019 oh, budget. Okay, okay. But then there was an uproar from uh, many businesses. They were saying that it would lock up their, their money, you know, because there would not be... Uh, the way it works is that um, if I supply you mm -hmm, goods, mm -hmm. then you w I pay you the full amount. In initially, how it, w how it was done was that I supply you, mm -hmm. I invoice you, plus mm -hmm. the VAT. Okay, okay. Then when you pay me, I pay you RA by the 15th, I remit my VAT. Mm -hmm. But uh, to make people more compliant, right. they decided that the person who is supplied is the one who receives the 18% VAT and then remits it to you are a easy so it was introduced in the 2018-2019 uh, budget yes but suspended uh -huh. after a few months because <laughs> Yeah, because the, it wasn't uproar. making sense to them yes and then they, they were wondering like mm -hmm. how how shall we file our returns you know if if we include the vat amount and yet the uh, we 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 paid the we paid of, of well if we withhold the v, the vat right if the person you supplied withholds it then mm -hmm. i also file my returns and include my vat it means i've paid that tax twice yeah, absolutely. It sounds like you're paying yes. twice. So that was the, the lobby that happened then. So, so why are they proposing it should return? Have they, you know... I think they've now worked it out. Okay. They've had a few months to work out. Okay. Um, in Kenya, when it was introduced, it, so, it also took them a while mm. in order for it to, you know, to work seamlessly, mm -hmm. for people's books to be reconciled at the same time so that uh, payments are not made twice mm -hmm. and all, yeah. So it's. I think it's a, a tax that we shall learn to work with. <laughs> yeah. I, I, do you think we need it? Is it really um, important? What the purpose of withholding is really to ensure compliance. Okay. Because if I if you supply me goods and services and also give me the tax, there's no reason for me not to remit that the tax, tax to, to URA. Yes, because I am a designated VAT uh, withholding VAT person okay so i should be able to remit that money to so, so what happens to the supplier the supplier is supposed to you know just uh instead of being the one to do it mm -hmm. we should that the person receiving the goods should be the one to to so he, th one this person behalf. receiving the goods mm. pays for both the supplier and the supplied because that's how it's <laughs> I was like but so i supply you goods yes and I, and I, you I bill I, me, and I bill you, mm -hmm. including, including the VAT. Account. Yes. Then oh, so I um, file to URA. However, the system of the return, yes, and the system of uh, it being clear that I this tax was paid on my behalf by this company ah. which I supplied is the one that wasn't clear. So there's a fear that because that company may not have done it on time True. i will have to pay vat and that is holding my money i have paid you twice and that is a problem in my cash flow. yes yes yes, yes. Mm. wow <laughs> so it, it's working in some countries okay but uh we need it's something new it's something they wanted to drive compliance because i could bill you plus the vat but if i'm not registered as a taxpayer uh -huh. or I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not in their system. There are those instances, yes. yes. If I'm not in their system, then they can't catch me and yet... I can go with it Yes. So and, uh, really and take the extra. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to plug loopholes here and there true, true. in the tax system, but it is something we need to learn to work seamlessly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, does it mean that we are trying to look for other avenues of collecting taxes? Oh, yes. <laughs> they have been doing that. I mean, OTT. I know. All these taxes, yes. They are, they are trying to... We. 
our budget is growing yes. and we need to finance it somehow. Yes. And the needs are there, we yes. need to take care of these things. So we we shall see other areas being touched. Mm -hmm. the, the, the discussion is ongoing now. Mm. I'm hoping we could get a copy of the framework paper and yes, see what, yes. what and else yeah. is new. What is new? Mm. What is new? What areas do they want to touch? What areas are not going to be touched? What taxes will they drop? So it's that's, now that's, that's the discussion is, mm. is going to start in absolutely, earnest. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Uh, and now that you're the business editor here at the New Vision, we hope you'll get a copy yes. and uh, we'll have it here on the handshake. Thank you so much, Edna. Thank you, Lynn.